today is an exciting day. It's the first episode of a two-week run where you're going to see videos every day that have us in it and the Vandersons in it. We're going to take turns putting a video out every day for the next two weeks while we tour along the east side of Costa Rica. We've got day one, but tomorrow morning when we wake up, it'll be their job to cover the day. So after you watch today's video, you are going to want to shoot over to the Vandersons channel. There's a link right here. There's a link in the description and there's a link at the end of the video and watch what happens tomorrow because we're going to show you the action from waking up to going to bed, what it's like to live in a van and travel in Costa Rica. So here's Kurt. Let's get to it. There you go. Somebody's checking out G Money and Vanna. So these guys are taking people down to that fancy resort on oh, the river. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the nice the Pacuare Lodge, exactly. Yeah, uh, nice. It's a chore. One thing you'll learn right away. Kurt is always going to be the first one up in our van. And then I'm going to get up and then the Vandersons get up. So they're definitely the last to rise on this next couple of weeks journey. But I'm up. I've made the bed. I can tell Kurt's already had breakfast because the breakfast dishes are done. I think it's time. Let's just go ahead and get this started and go wake those guys up. What do you think? Let's go wake up the Vandersons. Then we'll come back and I'll show you how we make some coffee in our brand new coffee maker. So this is what I get for running my mouth about having to wake up the Vandersons because they don't get up early. Look who's already up! Woo I'm, here. I'm ready for the day. They're ready for the day. <laughs> well, Danny's not. There's some Brita. Okay, so I wasn't completely wrong. No, Danny's definitely still sleeping. Some Brita's out for her morning walk. Danny's sleeping in there for a little bit longer. But here we go, guys. It's what we call moving day. It's moving day. We are packing up and we're moving to a cool new place. Excited. What else do you need out of the garage? Kurt is doing chores, so I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, Kurt is in the garage. We had to dig out our raincoats. Oh, look what we just spotted right there. Emily, what's oh, that? The Vitamix. We got to figure out where to make it a little easier to grab. Yes, we got to make some smoothies at the beach. We are headed to the beach for smoothies. Yeah. Kurt, I think we need the Vitamix. <laughs> All right, so the internet reception here is not great, guys. So we actually don't know where our next campsite is, so we're gonna get packed up. We're gonna drive up to where we have some internet connection. We're gonna find our next campsite, and then we'll be able to take you there. But we've got some other stuff we have to worry about. We need a Ferraterra, which is a hardware store. Nothing fancy, just need to pick something up. And we all need water, both vans need water. And, it's time to start thinking about finding a place to do some laundry. So, we are headed to a cool campsite, but we've got chores to do. So, let's have some breakfast, let's get packed up, let's wake up Danny, let's hit the road. All right guys, here's our new French press. Right here, doesn't take up much room because it's got this cloth handle, which is awesome. I've already heated up some water. I've already put the coffee in there. So we fill it up. Not all the way full because you want room for the lid to go in. That looks about right. Then you take this guy and you put him right there. Now. After a few minutes, we push this handle down, it pushes all the grounds to the bottom, and we can pour our fresh brewed coffee right out of there. There it is, our Van Life coffee maker. Super excited about it, guys. <laughs> all right, Danny has finally awoken from his cocoon. <laughs> if you hear that beep, you will know that is the sound of the starting of a drone. He's got the drone right over there on the other side of the parade of ants. <laughs> Snow's been trying to dodge those ants the whole time we've been here. At least you got a nice natural fence, you know? Because yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh! What can I do to these ants? Oh, no! Whoa! Ah! Oh. Whoa, look at that thing. <laughs> We've had a crash. Well, Danny, what happened? It looks like all that really happened was minor scuff, um, 
and a missing Here, propeller. That's the normal angle. Yeah. Suspension. Yeah. We don't need any new ball joints. Um, oh no. So guys, Danny crashed to the drone into his van trying to get the epic shot of this place. And there is a prop somewhere on the ground. Yeah, we don't know where it is. If we don't want find it soon, a miss, or an ant's gonna take yeah, it. Yeah, these ants will take it. So we can't find the prop. Danny checked on top of the van. We've looked under the van. The ants have not had time to take it yet. Although I think they would. But, you guys have spare props? Yep, I got All right. Nice. You found the prop for the drone. It was it's damaged. It's too, but it's uh, driving us crazy where it was. Oh so yeah, it's got it. a nick. So. But at least we're not crazy. It didn't vanish into thin air. Yeah. No, Danny's the crazy one. You see the way he flies that drone? <laughs> that poor we drone. We all know Danny. We all know Danny. Ones. Yeah. The drone nice. Drone a bit farther. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Time to move the van. You gotta make sure all the drawers are latched. Everything back here is secure. This is a big bag of dirty clothes. We're looking for laundry. Everything's good back here. The closet may look messy, but everything's secure. Ah, here we go. We almost missed a drawer. Every drawer has gotta be latched. Kitty's toy box is moved. The seats are turned around. Kurt's buttoning up the outside. Won't be long till that little cutie right there gets on the dash. Cause it's moving day. We're headed to the beach, guys. Woohoo! So it turns out today is chore day. We got a bunch of errands to run. I think we still kind of got to figure out where we're staying tonight. But we do know a couple things. Number one, Snow is driving. Yep. She's doing a fine job. It was a steep hill, a rough road, but her driving has been impeccable. <laughs> and the other thing we know is we're traveling with the Vandersons and they're behind us having a hard time keeping up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So anyway, I, unless something interesting happens, as we always tell you guys, we will see you at our first stop. If you hear G in the background, there's no need to ask. He's not pooing. He already took care of that. But he is still kind of chattery, so I apologize for that. But I wanted to tell you a couple things. Number one, we are super excited to be traveling with the Vandersons. This is a pretty cool little thing we're doing together. And so those guys are a lot of fun. Obviously, they're a lot younger and a lot... Uh, Healthier. <laughs> healthier than us. So they've definitely been challenging my limits, but it's been a lot of fun and Snow's had a lot great time hanging out with Emily and we, we all just had a lot of fun together. So we're really excited for that to, to start kind of exploring Costa Rica. But another thing is, you know, we haven't seen a lot of van lifers out since the coronavirus. And so it's super cool to have some more van life friends to be able to hang out with. Local fruit and vegetable stop. So, we just got through talking to Danny on the radio. We already stopped at the fruit stand and picked up some fruit and veg. We stopped at the fuel station, topped off the tanks. We're headed to our destination over on the Caribbean. So we finally got the good enough internet coverage to find our campsite. And there's several amazing looking campsites along the coast over here. But the first one, we wanted to be kind of an official campsite for a few reasons. One, we'll have some decent Wi-Fi to get caught up on comments with you guys and everything and doing a little more research over here. Two, we need to do some laundry. I think I told y'all that this morning, but we gotta find a place to do some laundry. And we need potable water. We need to put water in our van. And we've learned that in Costa Rica, some of these more formal campsites actually have potable water. So the potable water will be free at the camp and that saves us like 15 bucks. So that's awesome and that's where we're headed. We've picked out a cool one that sounds like they may even have a little band playing some reggae music. Yeah. We'll see. It is Corona so they might not have the band, but maybe. All right, so Kurt's up there standing in line. They only let one person in the store at a time, but Kurt is next to go in 
to get new data loaded onto his phone. And then we are done in this town and we are southbound. And uh, I think we're headed somewhere with a pretty cool laid back vibe. The East Coast is supposed to have kind of like an island vibe, the Caribbean vibe. So we're kind of anxious to get there and enjoy some of that. So as soon as Kurt gets done, southbound to our campsite. Well. And G could not be any more happy. It's okay, buddy. We're almost there. We're almost there. Vanna's slept the whole time. G's been a little busy body. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we're almost to our camp. I think you're gonna like it there. Just one more errand, okay? Hang in there, buddy. G's ready to find our campsite, just like we are. G's been being so good. He's been being a chatty Cathy, but he's been so good that I just gave him a little secret chicken snack. A little bonus snack for the day for being such a good boy. And for those of you guys that are freaking out because he's on the counter, this red and white and turquoise thing that he's on is a kitty pad. When we're cooking or eating, we take that down and wipe down the counter. All right. You good on the phone? We used all my data for sharing, but I still have until the 15th for unlimited for my phone. Okay. So I didn't renew because we're going to be back in San Jose okay. before my actual expires. So the only thing we can't do is just share. Walk, share. Okay. Yeah, use it for husband. All right. Well, let's go. I got it plugged in the phone. The plan is we're going to meet them there. We both okay. just were ready to get out of Limon. They were running their last errand, and we're meeting at the campsite. All right. All right. Southbound should be inching closer and closer to the Caribbean coast. Hopefully, we'll be able to see it soon. The GPS just told us we have 41 kilometers to our campsite. Now the only thing left is, is the campsite open? Let's go find out guys. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break. Y'all riding shotgun. I'm wide awake, take me away now Cause I, I won't go down the same old path again now No, I, been running out of air so let me catch my breath Feeling I've got to making me crazy If I'm having a good time, don't you blame me Yeah, this feeling I've got to making me crazy Making me crazy So I'm just gonna drive, drive, drive A little i think they're called dart frogs and i think they're on some level kind of poisonous but i got him in another video barely got him but this guy he's only if you can see my finger he's very small hey guys we have made it to our campsite we have the door open the bandersons are right next door there's emily right there we already had yummy food. Now, the last chore of the day. We got lucky and we think there's a laundromat right next door. Yeah. So, so I get to go for a walk. Kurt's going to the laundromat, <laughs> but I did bundle up all the laundry. Yeah, and I get to go for a walk. And you get to go for a walk. <laughs> we're at this awesome campsite and we've decided we're gonna try to get down here and drop this laundry off before they close. I don't know, it's probably about 5.30. Birds flopping around everywhere. Sound of the crashing waves. We just had an awesome meal. I had the fried fish. Snow had a, uh, a pork chop. Danny had fried fish. And Emily had some, sort of, some kind of vegetarian thing. So anyway, we'll step down here and see if this laundry's open. 
Uchi Bikes. Uchi Bikes Laundry Service. <laughs> Is that how you say that? Uchi Uchi Bikes. I think it's pronounced Gucci. <laughs> Hope this place is open. Look at Danny's not even carrying any of the laundry. Emily's doing all the work. Danny, that's so Always rude. <laughs> yep. She said she could come on her own. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness we have you. <laughs> For moral support. <laughs> oh, do you guys hear? <laughs> oh, do you guys hear Emily throwing down on some Spanish? Listen to all the birds. Wow, this tree's different. Yeah, I do like those little fuzzy things. Look at them. What are those, guys? I have no idea. So this is where the, you guess you do the laundry. So come back here. Hola. What are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> so what's the deal with that thing? Is it spiky or is it soft? It's soft. Yeah, it feels like one of those silicon things. What is it? Yeah, what is it? They're beautiful. Yeah, this man is a lipstick tree. Lipstick tree, no way. They're a little small still. Them bigger, they, you have some seats in there. Oh, no way! <laughs> oh, that is amazing! Indians, they uh, use it to uh, make their paints for, oh. for their celebrity. <laughs> that is beautiful. Did you plant that tree? Yes. <laughs> how long? How, how old is that tree? Three years. Three years. That's only three years. Wow. Well, good for you. I'm so glad you planted that tree right there. You know, because sometimes now it is uh, over. Everything is dry. Yeah, I see that. When the tree is full, it's just a um, Now, once once they're dry, do you use them for anything? No, I don't. They're, no. There are women. They make a, a pasta with a, a paste with it. Yeah. They sell in the shops uh, achote. Ach achote. And they sell that and they use it in the kitchen. Wow, and so camera, cool. I don't, I don't. <laughs> Thanks, I want to show yeah. snow. Yeah, thank you so much. Awesome. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing the stuff about the tree, too. That is super cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. I know she'll be I don't know whether she'll be excited or bummed <laughs> so I have the lipstick plant that you were talking about with the breeze. yeah yeah so look, at this. look at that oh you got to put it on Emily <laughs> so guys we're gonna do this tour down here we hope if we can figure out how to get there with some of the indigenous folks in this area they're called the Bree Bree's and one thing we read is you'll go on a tour through the rainforest to learn about the plants. And they told us about this plant that they used for lipstick. And it sure looks like Emily found one. <laughs> My question is, is it going to come off? I know, yeah. Maybe I'll try and make a little flower. No. In case it's not, it'll be another tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll report back tomorrow to see if it came off or not. <laughs> and we'll learn more about this if we get to go on that tour. Yeah, I'm stoked. That's that. pretty cool. So the laundry went good, Emily? Yeah, yeah, we dropped it off. She said Cinco tomorrow. Oh, nice, tomorrow. That's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. Yeah, she's a Swedish lady. She was really nice. But it's so fuzzy. It's like a rambutan, but... But inside is lipstick. Yeah. I thought because at first they kind of looked like lipstick. So I was like, oh, just a lipstick. Let's see it up close. Whoa, look at that thing. Guys, it looks like Emily's scared to put on her lips, but what do you think? Should she do it? Put it in the comments right now. Is Emily going to put on the lipstick? All right, we'll wait a minute and tell you what she decides. So what a little cool beach. So it's a black sand beach. Danny's out there frolicking around in the waves. I think he just needed a bath. 
Anyway, walking down the beach, got the sunset going on back there. You guys can probably see it. And all these kids down here playing soccer right on the beach. Reminds me, I think, of San Juan del Sur where they were playing soccer on the beach. Look at these guys going at it. Pretty good. Oh, head bump. But anyway, it's been a little bit of a stressful moving day. Not too bad. Had a lot of errands to do and some busy traffic. But it's nice to be able to relax down and have a nice lunch, late lunch, with the Vandersons and then come on out here and just chill by the, by the ocean. Back on the East Coast again. All right, guys. She's doing it. She's putting on the bright red fuzzy plant <laughs> lipstick that we don't know if it's you. permanent or not. Any minute she's going to turn around and we're going to see it. I feel like I should edit in some dramatic music. Look <laughs> at it! It's a nice color! Yeah! It actually is! Not too bad. Not too red. Alright. Maybe I need some. We'll see. <laughs> Alright guys, I think Danny's going swimming and Kurt followed. Are you going to try some? No. <laughs> All right, guys, we are settled in our camp. Emily put on the lipstick. Danny went swimming. We've had really yummy food. And I think it's time to end this video and wind it down. But instead of saying we'll see you in a few days like normal, we will see you guys tomorrow over on whose channel? That's right, the Vandersons channel. At the end of this video, you're going to be able to click and subscribe to their channel to see what we're getting into tomorrow. What is it, guys? What are we doing? Heading to Cut Week National Park. Let's do oh, it. Let's do it. Bikes. All day. All, All day. day. All right, guys. We'll see y'all tomorrow on the Vandersons channel for some hiking and maybe snorkeling. Let's do it. Good night, guys. Cheers. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.